Walleye 7.72. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And you guessed it, we are out here fishing for walleye. So this is going to be a walleye hotspots guide. And we've got a few places, courtesy of my boy, DW Stevie, and a spot not too far from here. I Kills Ducks introduced me to when we were fishing together the other night. So let's look. A couple of legends can't steer me wrong, right? So right here off the dock, Big Percy, DW Stevie, AKA Tackle World, as he has changed his name and rebranding. Make sure to check him out. Everybody knows Stevie. I think Stevie's probably helped everybody out in this community. So big shout out to my boy, Stevie. He actually chauffeured me around when I first started playing on Norway and helped me unlock the map and showed me where to get, find the reel and find the rod missions and all that. And he, when he gives me advice, I tend to listen. So here is a diamond walleye location, which closer to this bridge, closer to this waterfall back here. And then Stevie has caught them here as well. So we're gonna start off fishing here and we're gonna move up here. Right now, our gear, is I'm just using the Stalo rod, rattle plug, 27 pound braided because you don't know what you're going to hook into. I may end up using minnows later. Um, who knows? I could get a big tiger musky or something like that on. So I'd like to go a little bit bigger because there are a variety of things that can bite this. Um, and we've got the crankbait um, number five, number five, number six. If you start using a six, you can catch bronzes. I might drop down to that. Who knows? As long as they're biting, I like to usually go with whatever lens is silver and above, you know. Walleyes, you can see, I still need a diamond walleye. 12.26 pound goat is my biggest at the moment. But, leeches, minnow, crankbait. So those are the things that we're going to try to focus on more. But you can look, I mean, there's grub, red worm, spoon, spinner, shad, tube, blood worm, worm. They do not nibble. Speaking of, let's look at their traits. They're aggressive, so they go directly for a strike without nibbling. So if something nibbles, it's probably a catfish or something like that. They like to jump, and of course, they are a nighttime fish, so we better hop at it. Luckily, I got uh, on this map, and I was going to do some black uh, crappie fishing, and it turned dark. I said, you know what? I've been wanting to make a walleye guide, so let's just take advantage of this long nighttime map that I'm on, and let's go ahead and do this walleye guide and who knows what will uh, what will happen so let's go ahead and hop back into it guys do me a favor if you don't mind and hit that like subscribe and notify bell below it really helps the channel grow guys uh, you guys just don't know when a video goes live that first hour is what builds the algorithm it takes that into account how many likes how many comments how much interaction, how many views it's gotten in that first hour. And if it does well enough, if it hits a certain number, it gets pushed out into the recommended and then it's just exponential. Starts picking up a lot and gets seen by way more people. Can't watch it if you don't know it's there. So that's where you guys come in, share it, comment. Let me know what guides you want to see in the future or any questions you have about this guide and let's fish. Guys, we've hooked into another one here, real close to the to the dock. Silver seven point one three. Voila. All right. I'm I'm paying attention to how far around the circle it goes. That one almost went straight up and down. That's an eight point two two pound. So it's going to have to go past that six o'clock marker probably to hit goat or better. But walleye fishing is really fun. It's just sad that we don't have a much, much uh, night time to do it in. Now right, we've caught something on this crankbait here. Looks like a walleye. 7.27 pound. Been reeling on a speed of two, but when I Saw a fish coming after it, I lowered it to one, give it time to catch up. All right, put the end of one here on the crankbait again. Yep, walleye is a jumper. 
A little bit bigger rod, so I can't really tell how big he is. Yet. Silver 7.4 now. All right, we've hooked into another walleye here. Crankbait's doing pretty good. They, uh, we're still at the same spot. I don't know how many we've caught here. Good spot, though. Six point zero four pound silver. All right, we've hooked into another here. Seems to be fairly decent. Let's see how big he is. He is a gold, 9.86. Yeah, I would say he is very decent. <laughs> very nice. I was just looking at the how far he was taking. I've not been recording everything that I've caught because I'm catching so many here. But that one seemed to go around a little further on this rod, so I said, eh, I might want to record this one. All right, guys, we are at our second spot for this guy, and we've just hooked into another with the crankbait. And we have a 5.83 silver. We are fishing right here. This is the spot that I Kills Duck showed me the other day. And we can also go up here on this end and fish on this side. We were just right here. We got one right there. I saw him coming, I slowed it down. That's a 7.18 pound. All right, guys, we have hooked into, I think, a big one. I think he's big. I think he's at least a goad. Yeah, I think he is a huge mungus walleye. I think he's at, l at least a goad. When I saw his fins. Oh boy. This, this guy's huge. I'm, I'm hopeful. Oh, he's 11.54. Wow. Huge mungus. That's our second goad of this guide. But let me show you what I did. So I'm catching a lot of bronzes, but that goad that I just caught was on, we, we dropped down a hook size. I mean, we're we're now using a, um, a number six hook instead of a number five hook because I said, let's just knock a bunch of these bronzes out. Listen, they're biting. Now that's mostly what I'm catching is those bronzes, but I just wanted to show those goads will bite. And the diamonds will bite. They will drop down and bite the smaller hook size. And if any time that you're, especially when you first pick up your challenges of the day, use a smaller hook size. You'll knock those challenges out real quick, and you can still catch diamonds and goads off from those small hook sizes. They will bite down. All right, guys, we're just moving around to the other side of the lake here. This isn't anything too huge. But... Let's see if this leveled us. Yep, see there? We just got a reward popped up over on the left side of the screen there. I think it was a skin. For, it looked like a, a skin for a Jeep. That's what you get when you level, you get different things. Sometimes it's skin, sometimes it's lures. Sometimes it's a reel. At level 90, you get a really nice reel. But this is proven to be a very good spot. We caught a, almost a 12-pounder there. But we, we're going to try to hit one more spot here with our time. Supposedly up till 6, they'll bite. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, we've caught a burbot. A silver burbot. Okay. We are here, it is 5.06, so supposedly we have a little bit more time, but in case we don't get any more bites, I do want to show you guys the other spots. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, my face cam is not covering up any of them. So we are here at spot number one. This whole lake's good. Uh, number two is here at this little spot here. Um, number three here in this little curve. Some of them are off the beaten path, kind of tough to get to. Number four is right here. This We might actually try that spot right here in a second. And then number five is right here on the river. Let's go, uh, let's try number four. 
Let's look at number four there. Catch us some walleye there. Let's see, right here. So this is what I like about this spot. Just come right here. I'm just gonna fish right off the bridge and see what happens. I like these spots that are real close to fast travel points. That's why a lot of these spots get reported because they're easy access spots. People tend to fish there more. There are way more spots that you can catch diamonds of. These are just the ones that we know about. So, of course, the ones that are easier to get to are the ones that you're going to see more diamonds at because people are just, it's easy to get there. People, people are just more apt to fish those spots than anywhere else. Now, we're probably not going to get a lot of bites. I, it seems like once five o'clock hits, it really slows down. It's supposed to last until six, but there was a, sh a sturgeon look like that. But let's see, we'll see what we what we can catch here. All right guys, maybe we've caught one more walleye. Who knows, it is breaking daylight. We're at this last spot we came to. I am using a crankbait. Oh, I've caught a, sil a silver orid trout. <laughs> All right, it is as I figured. As I suspected, 5.30, tried all these spots, but my favorite places are right here. We didn't move much from there at all during this video. We fished on the dock area there and fished around this lake and then just a little bit here, but we stayed here pretty much the whole time. And that's a great place. I mean, when you find a good spot and you don't have a lot of time, you might as well stick with the spot, right? But that's where I highly recommend, just this little lake area right here um, that's where I would go. But that is going to do it, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any here at this last location, but let's look at this. We have our latest catches. That one there. But look at this. We've got... Uh, look at that big walleye gold right there. 11.54 pounds. And then we didn't push this one off the page. Good. So they're both on there. A couple of goads. 9.86 pound. Crankbait on that one. Leeches on that one. So my biggest one was caught off leeches. Successful fishing. Still needing that diamond. But we will get it. Appreciate you guys. If you would do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you haven't yet. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. We will be streaming. Actually tonight. Today is Tuesday. We'll be streaming tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern. I am starting to feel a little better. I've been under the weather lately. So hopefully we'll see you guys tonight on YouTube for Tackle Tuesday with Scarecrow and Bro Bra and Big Rig and Tony and Official Doe and Johnny Crow. And tonight should be Brook Trout, which I do have a diamond of. But the thing about Brook Trout, tough to target them. Kind of like the smallmouth bass and largemouth bass. Now, walleye, I can pretty much target. So, you know, leeches, if you use leeches and that crankbait during that time, you're probably pretty much just going to catch walleye. So, very fun fishing. Let me know if this has helped you. Let me know in the comments what you have caught a diamond walleye on, if you've caught one. And to catch our other streams over on Twitch, usually 5 p.m. Eastern time, Darth underscore Sloan. We'll catch you in the next video.